<clears throat> Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation and blessing to the hopeful members of the elect of the nation of Israel who are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that are teaching this word in sincerity and in truth and those that believe and help upon this ministry in sincerity and in truth. <clears throat> um, the water, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai for giving us this knowledge and opening up our minds to this truth uh, <clears throat> through the spirit of his son, Yahweh Shai, Baha Racha Hakwadash, you know, in 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 the in the Holy Spirit, you know, because this this is how Yahweh Shai has given us this knowledge through the Holy Spirit, and um, as you can see on the screen, you have a picture of the uh, super blue blood moon. Promises extremely rare treat on January 31st. This is an article from RT, an app I have I have in my phone. Um, uploaded January 22nd, which is today. Um, actually, yesterday, technically. Um. And this is just more prophecy of the coming of the Messiah, whom the world ignorantly called Christ. We know him as Yahweh Shai, his true name. And this is more prophecy of, of, of that event taking place. And with this article, you're not going to get any Bible verses, all right? You know, you they're, they're not going to tell you, you know, these are the things that the Lord said would happen in the last days before he made his return because they're not concerned with the, the, the coming of the, the, the savior of the nation of Israel, all right? This is our job, the prophets, to point these things out and to give 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 the, the hopeful elect this warning that these are the things we, we would have looked for. These are the things Yahweh Shai said would happen before he made his second return. All right? And this 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 here sign in the heavens is a significant one because it's three different signs in, in the moon. All right? And what I mean by that, it's a super blue blood moon. All right? Meaning the moon is going to be abnormally... Uh, it's going to appear abnormally bigger than usual because it's going to be uh, closer to Earth, um, so to speak. And then the blue is because it's, uh, it's uh, going to be the, the second full moon in one month because the first full moon <clears throat> happened... Uh, January first or second, depending on uh, uh, your 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 time zone, and then now you have this one coming at the end of the month. All right, so that's why it's a blue moon, <clears throat> and the blood moon, of course, which we know that represents uh, uh, bloodshed, man. You know, through the spirit. But that this article doesn't explain nothing biblical about this sign. They just, you know, give you the uh, scientific reason of why these things occur, which I just explained, you know, why it's a super moon and the blue moon, you know, because they got it in here, you know, they got it. To where the blood moon happens when the earth and the sun is lined up directly with the moon, all right? And 
while the moon is in the shadow of the earth, it looks reddish, and it's called a blood moon. Which those are the scientific uh, reasons why these uh, signs happen in the heavens. But we here in the know why these signs are happening because we are that much closer to Yahweh Shai return. All right, the return of the Savior of the nation of Israel is closer than when we think. All right. Now these is the this is three signs in one moon. You know. So I'll just read a little bit of this article. Well, actually, you know, I just put the link in the description box because like I said, there's nothing really spiritual about the article except the sign itself. All right. They just telling you when it's going to happen, you know, the reasons why it's a, it's a super moon, a blue blood, a blue and a blood moon all in one in one uh, moon, you know. So I'll just place the link in the description box. And, um, you know, I just read a couple of scriptures now because <clears throat> this 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 knowledge that we are part of, man, this is. It's for real, you know, and the, the Lord is showing signs all over the place. And this is one of them, man. This is one of them, you know. <clears throat> so let's hit some scriptures. Let's go here. First scripture, we're going to go to the book of Luke. You know, out of Yahweh Shai's mouth. And we're going to go right to the point. 21 and 11 it says and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places oh by the way while i was reading that article you know since it says great earthquakes in diverse places there was just an earthquake um i just got an alert on my phone before i started recording an earthquake off the coast of alaska which triggered it was eight point i think it was an eight point one earthquake which triggered tsunami warnings up that way. All right? So just just like that, you know, there was an a earthquake in diverse places. All right? And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And the 8.1 is very uh, great. All right? And famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. And that that super blood blue or super blue blood moon is a great sign in the heavens. That's a great sign to show that Yahweh Shai indeed is close to his return. Let alone the other prophecies that are popping off on the planet Earth left and right. All right. Next scripture we're going to go to. Is the book of Acts, the second chapter, and we're going to start at verse 17. And it says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yahweh, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And this is what's going on right now. Now, do you have women out there prophesying? No, but you have you have women that have dreams that show prophetic events. Case in point, uh, the singer, uh, what's her name, man? Carrie Hilson, I believe her name is. All right. She she uh, did an interview a couple years back talking about she had she has a dream and she has it often probably once or twice a year and she said it's basically the end of the world you know there's ufos and 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 just straight up chaos in this dream that she has on a frequent basis all right and she says when she and she said when she has that dream that it it basically uh it basically uh uh 
messes up her whole week. All right. Um, it says, and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Uh, Elder Yashawamba just just did a video of a horrible vision that he saw the Most High gave him. A vision of, 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 of great tribulation. All right. Verse 18. And on my servants, the prophets, and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Like I just said. All right. The women that <clears throat> Salakia uh, had to uh, uh, take a call. But I'm um, going back to the scripture. Verse 18, it says, and on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Right now, we know the servants of the most high are the prophets and the prophets are out there. They're prophesying. All right. The prophets are out there prophesying to Yahweh Bashim in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on, on street corners throughout the entire planet Earth. All right. And then the handmaidens, the women, they're having their dreams and visions. All right. And they, they putting them out there. All right. Or some may haven't put them out there, but that's how a woman is going to prophesy. A woman's not going to prophesy. As a as a as a prophet does out there on the street corners, all right, for hours teaching this word. That's not a, a role of a woman, all right. The, the 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 prophesying of a woman comes through dreams that the heavenly Father gives her. Uh, verse nineteen it says, "And I will shoot wonders in heaven above," which all this I'm reading from seventeen to the nineteen verse. All this is taking place on the planet Earth. And this is be before Yahweh Shai returns. This, these things are supposed to take place. All right. And I will show wonders in heaven above the, the, the super blue blood moon. All right. This is another sign that the Heavenly Father is showing. Another wonder. And signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Which we had that... Uh, eclipse uh last year the the full solar eclipse the full lunar eclipse where it turned day into night in, in certain areas throughout uh america that was one all right and the moon into blood and we're just we're getting ready to witness a, a blood moon a, a a red blood moon all right the end of this month all right, before the great and notable day of Yahweh Shai come. All right, so we are definitely in these last days, man. You know, we are definitely here, and it's a and like 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 the scriptures say, man. It's sooner than when we believe. All right, it's so much things going on, man. So much happening on the planet Earth that's relating to Bible prophecy. Of this, the, the end of this man's system and Yahweh Shai making his second coming, man. So, like I said, I just wanted this to be a little quick video uh, dealing with this super blue blood moon. Another sign from heaven to indicate Yahweh Shai's second return. So, with that, all praise to Yahweh Shai.